Hi, today we're talking about oolong tea, and this tea specifically is called a Dongding oolong from Taiwan, not a Ding Dong oolong, as it's sometimes mistakenly referred to. Um, this is a, a very traditional oolong tea, and this is actually um, this. So this oolong tea is um, is oxidized um, at about thirty to forty percent. And then it's given a heavy baking after um, over a high temperature for an extended period of time, and that's how you get a lot of this um, sort of this really dark um, this dark color that you'll have. It comes from both the oxida oxidation and the baking process. Um, and again, these little kern kernels when you brew this tea, they'll they'll be much darker than this, but they will open up into a full tea leaf. So um, you know, when you make this tea, you want to use a little bit less. This this oolong here um, was actually a fall harvest, and typically the the winter and spring harvests are the most sought after oolongs. But with a fall harvest, you can actually get a really high grade tea at a little bit lower price. So that's one reason that um, you know people people will, will will drink some of the some of the fall or or, um, or summer. Um, summer teas, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and actually, Dongding has an interesting history because Dongding um, is a, is an area. The mountain is called Dongding. It's in Nanto, um, Lugu area in Taiwan. And um, this this um, Dongding is a play on words because Dongding means a frozen summit, which refers to that mountain. It's very cold, um, but also to the fact that when people would go harvest this tea, they, and they would um, they would get um, numb finger and toes because the, it's so cold. So that was the frozen tips, was the fingertips and the and the ends of their toes. The first tea plant planted on Dongding Mountain was in 1855, and so they've been producing oolong there since then. And Dongding is one of the most famous teas exported from Taiwan. And with this um, baked, um, well oxidized oolong, you're going to have a more full mouth and a full body flavor to the tea. And again, it will also be very aromatic. One thing that baking oolong does is it brings out a lot of, um, instead of a floral, it's going to be more of a, a really ripe, ripe fruit type of aroma and flavor, sort of like an a extremely ripe pear. Mm. So this is a tea that people like to drink if they, if they drink a lot of tea um, and they want something that's going to give them more of a, a full mouth flavor. Um, Dongding is a is a good choice for those those tea drinkers. So once again, that's a little bit about baked Dongding oolong from Taiwan.